The Batman and Robin fucking style videos are so popular nowadays. Let's take a look at this. Man, that was tough. Wanna go grab a drink? Uh, say less, fam. Well, here we are. We just pulled up to this dive bar we found on Yelp. I guess it'll do. As long as they've got Jameson, I'm, I'm Gucci fam. Guys, Bruce just ordered another shot. It's getting pretty lit in here. I'm lit. You just had three Long Islands in a row. <laughs> Hey, boys, want to join us back at our place? Oh, I didn't run it. Seems a little sus, but I'm down. Nice. All right, chat, these two baddies just invited us over to their spot. We finna take a W if you know I'm saying it. Bro, don't tell Catwoman about this. Woo! Yeah! So for this channel with just four videos, got already more than 15,000 followers. And this video got more than 1.6 million views. And they are mostly created by Theo3 from Google, a very powerful video generator with audio. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how we can create this kind of Batman videos in mass or on autopilot. And the best part, no code at all. Just drag and drop like this. If you're new here, my name is Andy and I share easy to sell AI automation system like this every single week to help you kickstart your AI agency so that you can quit your 9 to 5 job to pursue your dream. The full template is available in our community. So you can download this, import it into your NAN. And yes, it's that easy. If you want one-on-one -on -one help getting this running or you want technical support, feel free to join our community as well. We provide one-on-one -on -one tech support there. Before we start, let's take a look at our demo video first. All right, Bats, it's confession time. Which Gotham coffee joint keeps you running on nights like this? It's the good old Bat Bucks, isn't it? Just second one. Hey Bats, you ever think about investing in an umbrella? Doesn't fly well. <laughs> right, but I bet yours would have a jet engine. And the third one. Ever thought of trading the cape for an umbrella, Bats? I prefer my waterproof cowl. <laughs> Functional and stylish. <laughs> Alright, so let's dive into the NAM workflow now so that you can learn how to customize your own as well. Let's get started. Let's start with a schedule trigger note first. So for beginners here, see this trigger rule. You can choose different trigger interval like per day, like for seconds, minutes, hour. For example, you can trigger this word for every single five minutes or every hour. Or you actually, you can choose for day, how many days and we at which hour per day as well. So for example, this is the first note. We can actually click test step. So you can see the green check mark here. Note executed successfully. This is the output on the right hand side. Then next, we are going to create a Google Sheet first because we are going to use that as our database to store the prompt, the settings, and also the output URL. This is my Google Sheet. So there are a couple of columns that we need to have. First one, for example, the weather, the weather setting. So for example, we may want the setting to be like heavy rain, night, time okay then the second column is location so we can see like random roof top and gotham city okay then next for lighting we can input like dim city lights through the rain for next characters of course we'll have batman and robert and activity so they are flocking casually between patrols Okay, next, background action. What we can input here is like, for example, we could include fighting criminal in the distance and Batmobile speeding through a light or spotlight scanning the sky. So it will be like the Batman movie tone and back background next we have tone okay so we want it to be fun like so we can put like playful and dad pen mix like robin cracking jokes and batman res responding stoically nice so we will have the scene concept here so for this concept for this column Basically, we are trying to input the actions of those scenes, what it will like. So we can say like uh, Batman and Robin take a brief 
break from Fijante duties to casually flock about random Gotham topics while rain pools around them, giving viewers a glimpse into their downtime between crime fight moments. So that would be the scene concept. That status, of course, is either pending or complete. We can actually input a drop down menu here. Right click, drop down. Then we can say pending or complete. So we can choose pending first. Next, we will have the output. That will be the URL, All right? So that's it for this Gushi setup. After that, we go back to NN and then search for Google Sheet. Then next, we are going to get rows. First of all, you can click create new credential and then just sign in with your Google account. Rename this credential here. Then that's it. For my account, I've already created this so I can use this. And then for resource operation, you can just keep it in the same sheet within document and get rows for the operation. For the document, I can search for Batman. So we have this, then this is the sheet that we don't have. And then for the filter, because I just want to process those rows with the pending status. So I'm going to choose status. Fairly well, I would choose pending. And I can add one more option. I can just return the first matching row. Because sometimes I may have a lot of different ideas and many of them are pending. I don't want them to run all at once. I just want it to do it row by row. So it will just return first matching row for me. Okay, as you can see here, this is the output. We have everything ready here. Next, we can add an AI agent for writing the script. We can name it as script agent. All right, then we can choose define below. All right, so for the script agent, I have prepared you guys the prompt in the community. You can just copy and paste it here. Actually, you can click expression and launch it so that you can have a better and larger input area. Okay, so you can see this error here because I've forgotten to add a row here, which is the scene. So it is referred to the number of scene here because we can actually create multiple scenes. But for this tutorial, I will just focus on one single scene. And in our community, I provide you a template that can create multiple scenes or an autopilot. Okay. So let me try to run this node again. And you can see that it's turning green again because we can see the number of results is one. And then we have the context, weather, location, lighting, background action, tone, everything here. So this will be the example format. The scene description for the first one and then for the second one. All right. Then next, you can see there is an error here. When we hover over this, no code connected to required input chat model, which is referring to this. So let's use open router. You can, of course, choose other different LL models. But the most common one that we use is Open Router because you can actually choose a lot of other models inside. All right. For for some OpenAI, Perplexity, XAI Grok, etc. And we just use the OpenAI GPT-4 Mini. So how can we create a new credential? First of all, we can actually get the API key first. Go to OpenRouter.ai. After you register, you will go to this drop down menu and click keys. And then you can click create API key. And after you have created that, you can actually paste it here and rename your open router credentials. Okay. As I've created already, so I can just use this. And for model, I'm going to use GPT 4.0 for that. So next, we are trying to provide a structured output, right? As we have the example output here, this one. So how can we make it more structured for the output format? So we can actually enable this require specific output format. And then you will be able to see this. So when you click this output parser, you can see there are three output parsers here. Auto fixing output parser, 
item list output parser and structured output parser. And today we are going to use this. If you want to learn more about different output parsers, feel free to join our community as well. We provide a deep dive introduction on how we can use the AI agent, output parsers, etc. So we're going to use this. So we can just remove this, try to make it simple. So this will be format and comma and also another sample like this. And this time we're not using the curly bracket and we're trying to adjust this. Okay, so that's it. Now let's try to remove the space here. Okay, so we have everything ready here. Let's try to run this node and try to create a script and see how it looks. Nice, let's take a look at him. Okay, so this is the scene. Great. Let's save it and let's try to pin it first. Um, the reason why we need to pin it is because we don't want to execute this node again and again for troubleshooting because it may cost you a lot for doing that. So if we right click it and pin this and then you can see the fixed data is here. So every time if you want to run the whole workflow again, you don't need to pay any cost for that because we're trying to use this fixed data here. It's better for us for troubleshooting later if we encounter any error. Next, we are going to create a video using VO3 through Fail AI, which is a platform that provides different AI image model and AI video models. And then trying to search for that, but we cannot find Fail AI here. So we are going to use a node called HTTP request to call their API. And this time we are going to send a request for them. So we are going to use post method. Again, there are so many methods here. If you want to learn more about that, feel free to join our community as well. It's where we dive deep into this node and so as other nodes as well. Then for the URL, we can go to Fell AI. After you register, actually you can go to document first. And then we can go to models endpoint Q. You can see these are the endpoints. We are using post methods because we are trying to add a request to the queue and this will be the format. So you can see this. We can copy this first and paste it here. Now let's try to remove the post. Let's get expression. Let's add a slash. So you can see there is something missing here because we still need the app ID. So we can go back to fail and then we can search for fee 3 this one. We can just copy this path and then paste it here. All right, so that's it. Then for the credentials, for the authentication, we will choose generic credentials type because there is no fail AI here. So we need to customize it here. And this time we're going to choose header auth. And then we can click create new credential. For the name, we can go back here. We can put authorization here. And then for this, we can copy as a value and paste it here. But it's not done yet. You need to get your API key, okay? So you can go back to value I account and then API keys, create your own API key and then just paste it here. Okay, so that's it. Then for the cost for this video three model, it's quite expensive. So for example, a five second video with audio, it would be like $3.75. So it's quite expensive. And you can also see the per second charge here with audio on and with audio off here. And then we can find my fail account credentials here. Then we can actually enable send body here. Of course, we need the prompt first. We can input prompt. Then for this part, we can actually drag and drop the whole output here. Okay. Then for duration, we can put like five seconds. Then for enhance prompt, we can put true. For the next parameter, we can choose generate audio true. So for this kind of parameter, we can go back to VO3 and then API. We can see different schemas here, like the prompt, duration, negative prompt, enhanced prompt, okay, seed, generate audio, so you can see the parameters here. And then we can click test app. Okay, we can change it to VO3. 
Next, we will wait for a bit. So we are going to add a note called wait. So for example, we can wait for around six minutes. So 360 seconds slowly. So let's wait for a bit. Okay, after we have waited for around six minutes for VO3 to generate the video, let's take a look at the result. Because we are going to get this through the API of failure as well. So we need to add another HTTP request node. Okay. And this time we're going to get something. So we're going to use the get method. All right. So for the URL, we can just drag and drop this response URL. And then for authentication, of course, we are going to use generic credential type, head auth, and then just search for your fail account credentials. And then we can click test app. So you can see the error here, your request is invalid or could not be processed by the service. String type expected, expected value. And then you can see the permitted X seconds. And when we go back to the API documentation for this VO3, when we scroll down, we can see duration. The default value is X seconds. Actually, we should change it back to X seconds. Okay, let's click test up again. Let's wait for another minute. Let me rename this first. Good. Video URL. Let's save it. Okay. Okay, so after six minutes, let's try to run this step again. Okay, so we got the error here. String type expected. So we can go back to this note. We can see that this is actually an array. So this is not correct. We don't want an array. So what we need to do is drag and drop this. And why I originally add json.output instead of this one? Because originally, if we want multiple scenes, we need to add a split our note here. It's for turning a list inside items into separate items. And then VO3 can actually refer the prompt to this splitted out output, okay? then it would not be an array anymore. So that would be okay. But now, because we just want to have one scene for this tutorial, so we should have just drag and drop this part. Okay, and let's do test up again. Okay, and let's see if we can run this this time. And let's not wait for six minutes. Let's wait for three seconds first this time. Now let me try to pin this as well save it let me try to refresh okay let's try to run it this time okay let's see if there's any error okay we is still in progress so this time it's working so we can actually wait for six minutes it's ready let's take a look at the video url great so it's working then last but not least we're going to add a google sheet note to update the google sheet we can say update row in sheets to connect with your own Google Sheet account. And then for document, you can choose your own document that I created. For example, this one. This is the sheet. Okay. Then for the column, we match on as the row number. And then we can go back to the first Google Sheet note and try to drag and drop. And we can remove other parts except the status. We want to write it as complete. See, we can remove that for output. We can just try and drop this URL and then we can click test app. And then go back to the school sheets and we can click this output MP4 file. Ever thought of trading the cape for an umbrella bats? I prefer my waterproof cowl. <laughs> Functional and stylish. <laughs> nice. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let me know if you have any questions or any technical issues in our community. And comment below in this tutorial video and let me know what you think about this. I'll see you in our next video.